What's up, what's up, what's up, my beautiful followers? Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new to my channel, I wholeheartedly welcome you. Please do me a favor, go down below, subscribe to my channel, tap that notification bell so you can receive my notifications when I upload my fun, fabulous videos. This is all for calls. This is all close and near and dear to me. So I do appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Today, guys, is Monday. January 27th, 2020, whoop, whoop. And as I had promised that I would come out and do a video on yesterday of me juicing something delicious, I was unable to do so because guess what? Somebody in my household turned the refrigerator up and froze my spinach. I was gonna do a green lemonade. You know who that somebody is, right? It was me. <laughs> So anywho, I'm here today to give you this video on a juice that I'm making using kale and some of the ingredients. I'm going to go by them really quick for you before I start blending. I'm using my, my Vega All-in-One Shake and this is the Mixed Berries. It's really, really good. I am putting turmeric in my juice, just a dash of it. And if you don't remember from a previous video, please go check out my videos, but turmeric is good for inflammation which as an MS patient, I'm a walking ball of inflammation. And many of us are too, just inflammation just in our body. Um, using wheatgrass. I was gonna use my salted, um, salted caramel, but I decided not to because I used that the last few times. I am going to have frozen bananas. Remember I talked about frozen bananas, the one when the bananas get dark, dark spots, that means they're getting overly ripe they're actually at their sweetest. So at that point, I do not have to add honey or I don't do the honey. I do, where is it? My, I must have put it back. My date, oh gosh, I put it back. My date syrup. So I don't have to use that. So also I have kale, voila, my celery. Mm, I love me some celery. Y'all know celery is a substitute for salt. And it also uh, helps with your blood pressure and your operation of your heart. It helps with that. I'm also being a little festive today. So I'm putting lemon and lime in mine. So just a little bit, just about a tea, not even a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon. And then there's the turmeric on my protein powder. And something else, oh, I didn't do ginger today, but there's my little bitty scoop of um, wheatgrass. You know, wheatgrass, it uh, filters your liver. It also gives you energy. It's, it's powerful. It's packed with power is what I call it. And then of course, this is my coconut milk. So remember when I spoke, I told you we're gonna do all of the soft and liquidified things first. So I'm gonna put that one and a half cup of coconut milk in my blender. I'm gonna go ahead and put that splash of festive in there. But uh what is that stuff called again lemon lime and um oh i also did um with that lemon and lime i put a hint of apple cider vinegar with the mother because that's a, a good a, a cancer fighter as well then i'm going to put my turmeric and my protein shake powder in there where's that little green scoop at my scoop of power my wheatgrass and then because the next soft thing that I have here is going to be my kale. So I've already got it all chopped up as much as, much as I need to put in there. And then to the hard stuff. All right, since your girl likes celery, throwing that celery in there, yes. And then there is my hard bananas. The frozen bananas, not hard. I've got Put you up there so you can see that i've got some red apples and i hope this thing doesn't get jammed today because it's been acting flaky in my vita mixer then i've got some frozen pineapple chunks and now it's time for me to blend away let me watch it oh yeah of course you know before i start doing it dealing with anybody's food and including mine i wash those hands and keep my hands clean on tea all right so now I'm gonna turn this blender on. Let's get the chopping and spinning and blending away. And that way, if it gets too, too, um, I got a little spin here that I can press down and get a 
it off because it starts to get that flaky. blender sometimes it doesn't like that frozen food and all that stuff I just add me some water in there because hey water is good for you that H2O baby all right let's see if that works any She does not. She in that cutting a fool. I'm gonna have to talk to her about that when I'm doing my videos. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's very liquefied. It's not thick. So with this one, this should last me. Oh, the green lemonade lasts me for three or four days because I make a lot of that. So I can't wait to do that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in the glass here. yes all right and i don't have my cup of tea today so i'm giving you a cup of juice today that concludes my video thank you again for joining please don't forget go down below subscribe to my channel click the notification bell like share and comment i do appreciate it so with that being said i'll be back with my next video i might come in and chit chat with y'all again this evening so thank you for joining me today i love you very much I'm blowing kisses at you. Peace. Bye-bye now. Okay, guys. Now to recap from what I did with my juice. I had to come into an area because I don't like to be so close to the juicer when I'm doing the videos because you can't hear what I'm saying. And then when Mac starts to react to the blender, it's, it's like I'm competing for a space. So I'm competing with the blender and Mac and then you can't hear me. So... I wanted to come out to solidify what I did with the juice. So, of course, like I said in the beginning, you add your liquid, your soft things first. So, I didn't have a, um, I had my just date syrup, but I only use like a squeeze of it and it's in a previous video. But with that being said, I had put it away because I had already put it inside of the blender. I tried to put as much of the stuff out so that I won't have to stop and start the video again. And with that being said, so I have the, I put the just date syrup in first, just a couple of squeezes, you know, tw tweak this a couple of drops because I had that banana that was in the freezer and that was a banana that had been overripe, overly ripe, which means it's at its sweetest point. Uh, <clears throat> and then after I put that in, I was being a little festive today. So I did just a, a small amount of uh, lemon juice, uh, fresh lemon, organic lemon, and organic lime. So I put a little bit of that about, mm, I don't think it even came to a table, uh, teaspoon for all of the items, though, those three items, because the third thing that I put in there was the apple cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar with the mother. Make sure it's apple cider vinegar with the mother, unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother that's a cancer fighting agent so i put a little bit of that in there so those three items may have been maybe a teaspoon if it was a tablespoon hey more power to me because the juice tastes it's the bomb the juice is awesome um then with that i added my i had a one and a half cup of coconut milk i did um my my organic kale 
I I don't measure the kale because I judge it by how how thick I want the ch uh, shake or how thin. Now after I poured the shake into my glass, it was a, it was very liquidy, but I went ahead and added a little bit more, about a handful of um, kale back in there again, so it'll thicken up. Um, so with that, then it was time for me to start putting the hard stuff in the blender, which at that point I put my organic celery, then I added my frozen bananas, I added the, uh, what was it? The red apples, organic. I did the frozen organic pineapple chunks. And, oh, fast, go back, go back, go back. After, before I put the liquid milk and the coconut milk and all that other stuff in it, I put my protein powder because my protein powder also had a teaspoon of turmeric in it. Then I used my wheatgrass. See, I'm getting that all mixed up. But anyway, I had all of those things in there. And then I turned, uh, after I put the hard stuff on top, because you put the hard stuff on, of course, it makes everything um, blends very well. Then I put the top on. And because I didn't have enough liquid, I added a little bit of water, probably about a third of a cup of water. Um, water is fine with me because we need the H2O anyway. So I added that into the um, blender and it juiced up very nicely. That container would be my breakfast and lunch. But since it's late in the evening and I'm just making it, that's my dinner and then my breakfast in the morning because it fr you could refrigerate it or you could put it in the freezer. Either or it's your choice. But that was what I wanted to come back to you to give you the to solidify what happened with the shake. I'm gonna have to figure out a better way so that I'm not competing with the blender, Mac, and then the noise that's in the surrounding area. But the juice is great, it's tasty, it's healthy for you. Uh, everything in there was organic, all natural, no sugars. Uh, the only sugar we had was the just date, which is a date, uh, it's a fruit, and then I had the banana. That's the only sugar I had in there. And when I say the de the Just Date syrup, it was two squeezes, two drops. That was it. And you would think with the apple cider vinegar, lemon and lime, that it would be tart. It was not. That banana took over. It was overly sweet to me. I would have probably did one banana as opposed to two. But that's all I wanted to come back and give you that. I hope this works because I ended up having to pause the video and come back to tell you my ending. So again, now I can do this to you. I still don't have a cup of tea. I did not bring my juice upstairs because I drank, I drank that up before I got upstairs. So with that being said, thank you again for joining. Click that notification bell. Subscribe to my channel. Comment, like, share, all of the above. Love you guys. See you next time. Maybe coming back chick-chatting with you tonight. Take care. See ya. Thanks for joining me. Bye.